Item near Canterbury and it's a collection of conifers from around the world that was originally planted around 1904 I think. I suppose the Latin for the um, coniferous branch of plant life is pinus so that's where pinetum comes from. What's your hope bringing artists like Arlet here? Um, well to, to allow them to thrive by putting them in a beautiful place and, and, and looking after them for a few days so that they don't have to get distracted by the, the normal sort of distractions of modern life. We were talking about it earlier, you know, because we don't spend a huge amount of time together, we're still just getting used to each other's company and being more relaxed with each other. You've got a hammock and a poncho. And yeah. bunting. You're better prepared than all of us. We're here for three days to try and write music collectively and uh, explore the process of doing that as a group okay. rather than me as an individual. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a funny text from Owen on the train coming down from Manchester who said he's just really looking forward to having a holiday in the woods. It's all very, it's, it's just totally idyllic. You know, we're doing this in this amazing place. It's not just my house. You know, I really wanted to write some music that was created here. So it's all tied up with, you know, with the place and that's important. So up, up till now, I've been writing everything. <laughs> Yeah, we're basically there. Yeah. I mean, we don't... <laughs> 
no more practice needed. <laughs> this is all about to change. It is changing as we speak. I'm on a bit of a high because we pretty much just finished writing a piece here, which we started yesterday, and yeah, we were just working on sort of finishing the arrangement just now. <laughs> The idea was just to try and make music out of material that we could gather from being here. Like you've gone round and you've kind of harvested the sound from the area around you now, yeah. and just bring it together. Basically trying to make something that's unique, that's like a lasting thing, something sort of tangible that we've created at the Pioneer. Wait, how did you start doing, was this a planned thing or were you just pissing about with Well when we set up the, the tent. You were I don't know, I noticed that oh, the yeah, guy yeah. that was made it, so it was just an idea that I had. I, I like the challenge of starting with just this like cluster of chromatic yeah. notes from which you have to draw harmony. It's funny, because if you just play the notes oh, in a row, I mean, it sounds, it sounds pretty... Pretty dire. Pretty horrible, <laughs> like really, yeah. pretty nasty. And then a process of organising it, and I guess, like, repeating it until it has to sound nice. Uh, it starts to sound. It starts to sound quite, quite good. I really like it, <laughs> yeah. but I'd never write it no. just because it doesn't really make much sense as a progression. It's quite cyclical. <laughs> so we got this chord progression. Why don't you play the theme? So one, two, three, four. For you, Aidan, is this slightly odd? Because obviously you're used to being the sole writer and now you've got the chance to let the rest of the band get in on the action. Yeah. Are you regretting that a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> it takes longer because when you're writing as a group, you're kind of, you're trying to allow everyone else to have their say and everyone's a bit tentative and sort of like, a bit nervous about putting an idea forward because you're just thinking it might be yeah. crap, basically. <laughs> So, so at this point, we're just jamming it. Ben, Ben cues a stop. Oh, yeah, so that's what we're waiting for. So Ben cues a stop, uh, yeah. and then the stop is the cue for half time. There's also oh, when you're sort of good. writing in a group, you can just be messing around, and you know someone else can say, "Oh, that sounds cool," and mm. you might not have noticed it yeah. yourself, yeah. and then you know you can, yeah, you can take an idea that would have just been lost otherwise. Yeah, and I'm a bit confused. So there's no kettle the break. Flat in the row. So having this much time is like a luxury which we haven't we haven't really had before. And like Matt's making loads of amazing food and Can we give Matt a small round of applause? For I think we can definitely give Matt a round of applause. <laughs> Only a small round of applause. <laughs> <laughs>
Let's go for lunch. Yep. How long is the dinner time? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> So we're, we're all deliriously tired at the moment. Um, yeah. So hopefully we can hold it, hold it together. For this <laughs> but yeah, we've pretty much got two new tunes. Not sure if they're really ready to perform tonight. Yes. Good. You were planning on um, on singing tonight, weren't you? Well, we yeah. were, and um, about an hour ago we tried running them through and couldn't mm. really run them through. So <laughs> I think it's a yeah. consequence of. Just being really productive is that we've sort of Too much to remember. overdone yeah. it a bit, <laughs> and now we're, our minds are addled. But maybe we'll play the second half of yeah. the mathematics group. As tonight's kind of a it's more of a concert format, and there's another band playing, yeah. it'd be better to just you know keep the standard high. Play it safe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if we if we set ourselves the target of play both new tunes, we'll be really stressed about it. Yeah. Mm. And therefore, <laughs> probably make mistakes. Yeah. Have you been really good hanging out together and kind of. Why are you laughing, Tom? We all get on very well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but it has been a dream, you know, just hanging out make, and making music, you know, and actually having the time to work on an idea and work through it mm. together. Yeah. yeah. Together. Somebody's. <laughs> yeah. As, as one, you know? <laughs> we were saying earlier that what we really like about it is that the tunes sound different to our other tunes. Yeah. yeah. And I think yeah. that's kind of. Um, Gratifying. Definitely. And, and, and like released Aiden's egotistical <laughs> stranglehold on the crew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good to, it's good to uh, let it go. <laughs> see, what, see what comes out. That's the point of it. Yeah. I've had this sort with, of scenario in my head that we turn up and we try to write some stuff <laughs> and it would just sound completely shit. So it would just be like, actually, can you just write all the music? That would be a lot easier. <laughs> it is like slow, obviously, because you kind of feel just finding your way as a group. But like, yeah, lots, there's lots of that. <laughs> but, um, things crawling up your legs. Yeah, yeah. there's actually a lot of that. Genuinely, lot, quite yeah. a lot of things crawling up your legs. In all senses, it's usually Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's a really nice way of doing it because um, I don't know, just just make, you know, just get get in the flow of doing it and get over that initial anxiety of trying to write something. And then you know, once you're writing stuff that sounds good, it just you know, it just gets easier and easier. I think. But yeah, it's just like. Do you think the place has really helped you write? Because obviously you've come here and you're here for residency. Or do you think just being in the same place is what's helped you write? <laughs> yeah, I, th I think it has. It feels sort of separate, separated from all the world crap. Humdrum. Humdrum. Yeah. Quo the quotidian. <laughs> um, the daily grind. And it, you know, it's just such a beautiful place and it puts you in a good mood. Um, I'm sure you will in about an hour's time. This is Olive. Yay! Yay!